we are seeing a, a very serious healthcare crisis in our country. And we're hearing stories from families that they go into the healthcare, uh, they go into the emergency rooms, they go into the hospital, and they can't get the care they need. We hear from healthcare workers who are telling us they're burnt out, they're overworked, they're under-resourced, and they can't give the care that they are trained to give. And all the while, while parents are struggling or kids are suffering because this healthcare crisis is being felt by children, children's hospitals are where we're seeing the brunt of this crisis and we're seeing the worst of the suffering right now. Despite this, we have premiers and the prime minister that are too busy fighting each other about who's to blame rather than finding solutions. I believe a leader is someone who finds solutions, doesn't look for excuses. And right now, with the health crisis as bad as it, as it is, we need national leadership and we need Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to step up and find solutions, work towards fulfilling the promises that he made in the last campaign. He promised more funding to hire nurses and doctors, deliver that funding. He promised more funding for mental health, deliver that. He promised to make sure that personal support workers were paid a good wage. If he did any one of these things, it would significantly help in the crisis we're facing right now. And of course, I believe Canadians expect transparency, that they should know that their healthcare dollars are going towards healthcare. And we know that there's deep concerns with premiers like Doug Ford and Daniel Smith, who might use money to put it towards tax cuts instead of healthcare. That is not a good enough excuse for the prime minister to not act at this point in time. Prime Minister needs to find solutions, continue to fight to protect our healthcare system, because as it stands, things are untenable and we need to find solutions. So our, we'll continue to apply pressure on the Prime Minister to act, to find solutions, to stop pointing fingers and playing a game, and start doing the hard work of fixing our healthcare system and finding solutions to deal with this crisis. Don't get sued, almost. Hi there. Um, <clears throat> yes, I thought I would, uh, someone else asked a question, asked a question about some of the provinces in the healthcare meeting in, in Winnipeg. I know that the premiers have complained about the fact that um, sort of over the last couple decades that healthcare transfers have been cut so dramatically that it's, you know, unfair to now have Ottawa put, you know, restrictions on them or, or with this funding because they're just trying to catch up from where they were before. So what, what do you say to that uh, argument, I guess, in terms of healthcare do dollars? Well, Canadians believe that if we spend money, we should know where it's going. Canadians believe, and I believe, that we should make sure healthcare dollars go towards healthcare. And there's there's some pretty serious concerns that that won't be the case. If money is given to Daniel Smith, there's no guarantee that it won't go towards privatizing healthcare or go towards putting profit in front of care. And we've seen where that leads us. In the beginning of the pandemic, in long-term care homes, the for-profit homes were profit was more important than the care of patients or long-term care residents. We saw the outcome of putting profit before people, and the results were some of the most horrific conditions were found in those for-profit centers. So there's, there's good reason to be concerned about where the money is going. But I want to be very clear, that uh, alone is not an excuse to not find solutions, to not look at immediate relief for the crisis that we're experiencing right now. It's not an excuse for the prime minister not to act, not to find ways to improve what is right now a really uh, bad situation in our children's hospitals and in our emergency rooms across the country. So while I understand and I believe very strongly in the need for transparency and making sure that uh, money goes where it's intended, which is for healthcare, that is not uh, for me what a leader does if faced with a crisis, try to look for, for excuses, the leader, a leader should be someone looking for solutions to the problem.